Hi, everybody. It's Mrs. K. I'm back. I'm so glad to see you here today. And I'm back in my music room, but it's a little bit, no, let's be honest, it's a lot messy. Pretty wide, pretty high, pretty deep, the whole thing. I'm here by myself, and you're at your house, and there's no one to help me. Do you ever make a mess yourself? You know, like we make messes. I make a mess, you make messes. Now, if you're playing baseball and you slide into second base, um, your uniform's gonna get pretty messy, yes? And if, um, have you ever watched a baby eat food? Oh my word. There is food on his face, on his high chair, on the floor, which he threw there. And you wonder how the little guy could even grow because all of it food ends up someplace else besides in his mouth and down his belly. But I'm not talking about messy faces or messy clothes. I'm talking about the messes that we make because we make bad choices. Uh, know what I mean? You get grounded because you got a bad grade on your report card. Well. Why did you get a bad grade? You didn't do your work. See what I mean? Bad choices, big mess. Well, there are other bad choices that sometimes we make. We might choose friends who influence us to do things we shouldn't. That can make a really big mess. Another bad choice is not listening to parents' good advice. But a really bad decision is not listening to the things that God says in the Bible. We don't know right. We don't know wrong. So there's the beginning of a huge mess. Now, you might be thinking, Mrs. K, just tell him, stop. Stop doing that. Don't do it again. Well, we can make that choice, but what do we do about the mess that we've created? There's no way to undo it. But there's a verse in the Bible that speaks to this very thing. Second Corinthians 5, 17 says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things are gone. Look, everything is new. God has been in the business of fixing messes since he created the world. What he does that no one else can do is that he erases the old mess and helps us begin again as brand new. Let's explain this. In the Bible, first book, Genesis, first chapter one, verse one, it says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Well, what was there before God created the world and the universe? Verse two tells us that basically it was a mess. Listen to these words. Now the earth was formless and empty and darkness was over the surface of the deep. In other words, it was a blob, no life on it, not animals, not plants, not people, and it was just dark. Ever been on a tour of a cave? I have. Pastor Herb and my daughters went to a place in Tennessee called Lost Sea. That's because there's a big river underground and nobody knows how it got there or where it came from, but really interesting. And so we saw and learned about how they discovered it, when they discovered the cave and what was in there when they found the cave. And then the tour guide said, everybody stand still. We're gonna turn off the lights. And they did, oh my word. I have never been in anything that was so dark that you couldn't eventually focus on your hands and see them. There was no ambient light. No light was coming from anywhere else or could get to that cave. 
it was just dark. I would call that a blob with no light, no nothing, and totally dark, a big mess. Well, that wasn't the end. There was someone there. Someone who had the power to fix that mess with a brand new beginning. The rest of verse two says, the spirit of God was hovering over all the mess. Then God went to work. He fixed the mess by just speaking to it, speaking to it into existence, light, the world, water, land, moon, sun, stars, plants, animals, and then he formed two people, Adam and Eve. Wow, it was just gorgeous, perfect. Where it had been messy, now it was brand new. Sort of like my trash. If I remove just a little of my trash, you can see that there's something else that's very beautiful. Here we go. There it is. A beautiful picture. Now, that picture was painted by Pastor Herb. And once upon a time, there was nothing there except a blank canvas. And he painted and made it beautiful. You could say that a blank canvas is kind of messy. There's nothing beautiful about it, nothing spectacular. But it was made into something new and beautiful. Now, think about this. Is there anyone or anything besides God who can fix a mess as big as the world and make it brand new and beautiful? No. If God can do that for a mess that big, can God help you and fix your mess? You bet. Maybe you just keep making wrong choices or maybe you just keep getting into trouble. Can God fix that? Yes, he can. Because he can help you make the most important choice, the most important right choice of your life. What's that? Ask God for help. Maybe you might say something like this. God, I mess up a lot. And I don't know how to fix it. And I don't know how to stop. So I'm asking you for help. Please forgive my bad choices. The Bible calls those sins. I can't undo them. But I believe what the Bible says in John 3, 16. That you, God, loves the world so much that you gave Jesus to us. If we believe in him, we can have life, brand new life. I want that, God. And I trust you and your words in the Bible. Where there's a mess, here, create a new life. Thank you, God. Amen. I hope you guys like this video. I'm so glad that you joined. You can watch it whenever you want by going to my YouTube channel and you can invite some friends to see it too. Next time, we will hear about a different kind of mess that God fixed by creating a new beginning. See you next time.